Welcome to my low impact aerobics class. You're going to get a great cardiovascular workout that's gentle to your joints and muscles. That's because there's no jumping around. You're going to have at least one foot on the floor at all times. Now, for those of you who are at an intermediate or advanced level, you may want to add wrist weights to increase the intensity of your aerobic workout. Begin with half pound per wrist and work up to no more than one pound per wrist like I have because you don't want to strain your shoulders. You should have aerobic shoes on or running shoes and have a chair or some other support nearby for when we do the standing stretches, which are coming right up. So get ready. Shoulder width apart, toes pointing straight ahead, and knees slightly bent right over the toes. Tummies are in, hips tucked under, chest is lifted, shoulders pressed down. Inhale and exhale. Again, lift and exhale. Two more times. Inhale, chest is lifted, and exhale. Keep the shoulders pressing down. Lift. Ready and stretch. Two, three, four. Bend your elbows and roll it down. Curl it up again. One, two, three, four. Bend your elbows and roll down. Curl it up again. One, two. Chest lifted. Keep breathing. Again. Roll down. Curl it up. One. Tummy in, the buttocks tucked under again, and roll down. Curl it up. Next stretch, left. Keep your hips tucked under, knees are bent. Other side, chest is lifted, shoulders down, and change again. Stomach in, buttocks tight, knees over the toes, and change last time. Ready? Drop your chin and slow half circles over to the left and back. That chest lifted again over to the left, hips tucked under and back last time. Head up, shoulder shrugs and down, a lift and down. Now slow it down, press, lift and press. Now up to tempo, lift and down, lift and down. Knees slightly bent, hips under, tummy pulled in. Keep the lower body flexed. Warm up those shoulders, chest is lifted and breathe. Last time, now inhale, arms overhead, exhale and press that arm behind your head. Feel the stretch of the tricep muscle and change sides. Stretch that elbow down, don't let your back arch, keep your hips tucked under. Open and across the body. Keep that arm straight. Don't let the elbow bend. Feel the stretch in the shoulder. Other side. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Breathing is very important. Hips tucked under, tummy in. And now arms to the back. Lace your fingers and lift your arms to the back. Feel the stretch in the chest. Hips under. That's good. And now hug yourself. Oh, my favorite part. Round your head down over your arms. Now move your hands down to your elbows and reach that arm over your ear. Stretch it out to the side. Don't hold your breath. Breathe and stretch even farther. Tummy in and down to the other side. Arm right over your ear. That's right. Tummy in, hips under. Don't let your back round. And down, 
Release your hands and slowly roll up. Now, one leg in front, the other behind you. Press your back heel to the floor. That back foot should be straight ahead. This is a calf stretch, so it's very important that the toe be lined up with your knees straight ahead. Hips are under, tummy in. Lift your chest. Move that foot a little bit further forward and bend that back knee now. And again, the toe is straight ahead. The knee is right over the toe. Hips are tucked under. Don't let your back arch. Chest is lifted, tummy in, shoulders back. A lot to think about, isn't there? Now roll down over that front leg. Hands on the thigh for support. Gently straighten that front leg. Relax your head and neck. If you're more flexible, you can put your hands on the floor. Relax your head and neck, straighten that leg and feel the stretch in the hamstring. And now bring the other leg forward, the leg back, hands on the thigh and slowly roll up. Now press the other heel to the floor. That's right, tummy in, hips forward, shoulders back. Chest is lifted, press that heel into the floor. Back toe is straight ahead. Knee is right over the toe. And now bend that back knee a little bit so you get a stretch in the lower calf muscle. Don't stick your buttocks out. Keep them tucked under. Hips pressed forward. Stomach in. Chest is lifted. Gradually increase that stretch to gentle tension. Feel the stretch in the lower calf. Now slowly round down over that front leg. Relax your head and neck. Straighten that leg very gently so you feel a gentle tension in the hamstring muscle in the back of the leg. Toes pointing straight ahead. That's right. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Now bring the back leg forward and slowly roll up. Get yourself some support. Open your knee to the side. Reach around with the opposite hand and very gently lift that thigh and knee to the back. Keep your hips pressing forward, pull up tall in the torso. You should be feeling a stretch in the front of the thigh. This is the quadricep muscle. That's right, keep breathing. Lift that thigh, now knee forward and change sides. Knee out and reach around with the opposite hand and gently lift that thigh. Concentrate on keeping the hips pressing forward. Avoid arching your back to the extent that you can. Chest is lifted. Feel the stretch in the front of the thigh and the quadricep. Ready, knee up and down. And now let's begin the aerobic portion. Feet shoulder width apart, hips under. Ready, shift your weight. That's right. And now press down, hands hip level. Very deliberate arm movements. Chest lifted and breathe. Waist level. By using our big thigh muscles, we're beginning to raise our pulse rate, getting into an aerobic state. Breathe. Now, hands chest level. Press. Very deliberate. Press. Feel the resistance. Keep those knees right over your toes. Toes straight ahead. Press. Now, step touch. Hands chest tight. That's right. Keep breathing. Stomachs in, hips under. Two steps left. Keep your hands chest height. That's right. Keep breathing. Think of your posture again. Be sure to pick your feet up and put them down very gently. Now step touch transition. Walk forward, palms up, scissoring. Heel out, palms to the back. Heel out, palms up. Heel out and back, palms up. Heel out in front. Big steps, heel out and back. Keep breathing. Heel out in front. Heel out and back. And now step and press. Feel the stretch across your chest. Again, keep your toes straight forward. Step lightly and breathe. Again, elbows, shoulder height, use your thighs, very graceful, light on your feet, and now bicep curls and press, really flex, come on Ed, do your stuff, you all remember Ed from the first video, flex, 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 all right, now
Now get ready. Hips are under. Use those thighs. Flex. Flex. That's right. Breathe. Now get ready for half knee lifts. Lift that knee. Hip height. Hip height. Flex. Come on, Lydia. Show those biceps, girl. Oh, yeah. Flex. Flex. Be sure your heel touches down. Step softly now. Now full knee lifts. Up. Press. Press. Get it up. Get it up. Yeah. Oh. Press. Touch the heel down. Heel down. Now get ready to touch and reach.
Step lightly, chest lifted, and breathe. Now get ready, side lunges, down. That's right. Step lightly, arms chest height now. Feel like you're pulling a thick rubber band. Very deliberate arm movements overhead now. Let your back arch, keep your hips under, chest height. Woo. Hips forward. Now four counts down. Two, three, four, kick up, press up. And lunge again, down. Kick out, press up. And lunge again, down. And kick out. Knee up now, arms, chest height. Arms overhead, knee up. Keep breathing, don't get breathless. Slow it down if you are. Now chest tight again, and take it front, in place. And back, chest tight. Arms overhead. And step. Again, doubles, and back, single counts now, singles again, and now doubles again, two steps, and back, again, doubles, now singles, step lightly, and doubles. Last set of doubles. Get ready to cha cha run. Step step change. Cha cha cha. Arms way overhead. Let your heels touch down. Again, run. Step step change. We all know how to cha cha. And up. Very deliberate arm movements now. Don't flail about. Breathe. Last set. And now sunshine arms to the side. And in. Again. Two steps left. And back. Singles. Singles. Again, great find. Singles. Again, up. Step kick. Again, down, up, down, kick. Step kick. Last set of great finds. Kick. Singles. Straight leg kicks, arms overhead. You can bend your knee if you don't want to do this with a straight leg. Elbow to knee now. Keep going. Walk forward, bicep curls. Kick. Elbow to knee. Kick. Elbow to knee. Keep going. That's right. Again, keep going. Elbow to knee. Last time, front. And now drive a big trunk down. Shift weight. Ready and march. Five, six, 
ready, arm up and open, together and down, up. I fooled you, together and down, up, open, together and down, up. Okay. Elbow to hip now, take it down. What's important here is to keep your knees over your toes. Don't go like this. Take it down, thighs are still, pick it up. And now reach up, pull down. Weight is forward, tummy's in, hips under, and breathe. Pull, reach, pull, reach, pull. That's good, keep breathing. Now Hawaiian arms, move at an angle, touch, change, and push down. Again. Touch, change angles, and back. Four more counts. One, two, three, four. Take it down. Get those arms overhead and up, hips under. Take it down, knees over the toes, and up, and reach, pull. Right. Very good. Keep going. Breathe. Have a little conversation now just to be sure you can do it. Hawaiian arms again. Move front.
Exhale. Stretch the left leg back, hands on the right thigh, and press that back heel into the floor. The back toe should be pointed straight ahead. Press the hips forward, stomach in, shoulders pressed back and down, chest is lifted, breathe. Press that heel down, feel the stretch in the calf muscle. Now move that back leg forward a little bit and bend the back knee. It's very important that the back toe be pointing straight ahead and that that knee be directly over the toe. The hips are tucked under, stomach in, shoulders pressed back and down, chest is lifted, breathe. Change sides now, other foot and back. Hands on the front of the thigh for balance. Stomach in, hips tucked under. Press the back heel down. Squeeze the buttocks, press the hips forward. Feel the stretch in the calf muscle. Back toe is pointing straight ahead. Chest is lifted, shoulders down. And now move that back foot forward a little bit and bend the back knee. Feel the stretch now in the lower calf muscle. Tuck the hips under. Stomach in, chest lifted, shoulders down, breathe. The back toe is pointing straight ahead. And now sit down. Lie on your back. Left knee is bent, gently raise the right foot to the point of gentle tension. Don't point your toe or flex it, just relax the foot into a neutral position. If you want to maximize the stretch, place your hands behind your thigh and gently press your leg even farther. Be sure to relax the foot. This is a hamstring stretch. And now bend, and stretch, and bend, and stretch and press. And now place that foot behind your left knee, right on that knee, and reach behind your thigh and press the knee into your chest. Stretch in the right hip. If you want to, you can simply press your knee in without using your hands. And now remove your foot and roll over towards the television set and bend that bottom knee up towards your chest and reach around, clasp your foot, and very gently press that thigh back. And as you do, think of curling your pelvis up in order to round out your back and keep it from arching. Stomach is in and keep breathing. Feel the stretch in the front of the thigh and the quadricep muscle. That's right. And now roll over onto your back again. Bend the right knee and lift the left leg very gently to the point of gentle tension. Relax your foot, don't flex it or point it. Keep breathing. If you want, you can put your hands behind your thigh and gently press the leg towards your chest. And now bend and stretch and bend and stretch. Now place that foot on your right knee and gently press the right knee in towards your chest. If you want to maximize the stretch, place the hands behind your thigh, press your knee in even further, and keep breathing normally. Feel the stretch in the left hip. Now remove your foot and roll over away from the television set. Hand on your arm, bend that bottom knee up towards your chest and reach around. Gently clasp your foot and press your thigh and knee back, and as you do, Think of curling your pelvis forward to lengthen your spine and round out your back to keep it from arching. Breathe normally, feel the stretch on the front of that thigh. Now roll back again. Hands behind your thighs, gently press your knees into your chest. This is an excellent stretch for the lower back. Breathe normally, relax your neck into the floor. And now roll over towards the television set and using your hands to assist you, come to a sitting position with 
the soles of your feet together. Now if these exercises cause any discomfort to your knees, either put your feet out farther the way Warner is doing or you can eliminate these exercises altogether. Hands on your ankles, lean over your feet and press your knees towards your floor with your elbows. If you have a hard time reaching your knees with your elbows, you can use your hands to press your knees down. But be sure to breathe normally. Don't hold your breath and relax your head and neck over your feet. You should feel a stretch in the groin area and your inner thigh as well as your outer hip. And roll up. Put your left foot in front of your right foot and round down over your right knee. Hands on the floor on either side of your knee, and inhale. And as you exhale, let the weight of your head carry you even farther over that knee, and feel the stretch in the left hip. The stretch is in the same hip as the leg that's in front. And come center and keep breathing. Relax your head and neck. Don't even try to look at the television set. Just round down over your feet as much as you can. You should feel a stretch in the outside of both hips now. And round up. Change legs, other leg in front. Now round down over the opposite knee from the leg that's in front and inhale. And as you exhale, let the weight of your head carry you even farther over that knee and feel the stretch in the same hip as the leg that's in front. And come center, keep breathing. Relax your head and neck down over your legs. Don't look at the television set. Keep breathing. And roll up. Open your arms and gently press your elbow down behind your head. This is a tricep stretch like we did in the beginning. Sit up tall, don't slouch, stomach in, normal breathing. And reach up, other side. We've been using a lot of upper body during the aerobic section of the class and it's very important to stretch out our back our arms and our shoulders, and open, and now hug yourself, mm -hmm. you've done a great job, let your head drop down over your arms, this is an excellent upper back stretch for people who've been sitting at desks all day, keep breathing, now open your arms, and lace your fingers behind your back, and lift your arms, feel the stretch across the chest and the pectoral muscles, and in the shoulders and in the upper back. Sit up tall. Now put your hands on your knees and stretch your ear over to your shoulder. Don't hunch your shoulders, keep them pressed back and down. Other side. One more time to the left. Keep breathing, chest is lifted. And last time to the right. Now drop your chin to your chest in slow half circle. And back. One more time to the left. Feel the stretch in the upper back. Don't slouch and keep breathing. And last time back. Head up and shoulders up and down. Way up. Grow taller as you press your shoulders down and lift and down. Last time, lift and down. You did a great job.